The materials you'll need for this project are, you'll need your Garmin Forerunner 305 watch, you will need a tool to pry apart the front and the back of your Garmin watch, you will need a replacement battery. Uh, in this video I'll be using a replacement for iPod mini battery that I ordered from eBay. You'll need some electrical tape, wire cutter and wire stripper, and you'll need a soldering iron and soldering wire as well. Optional materials that I'll be using in this project include double-sided poster tape. To put the watch back together again, I'll be using E6000 glue, toothpicks to apply the glue, my gloves, zip ties to hold my watch together, or you could use electrical tape. The first step in replacing the battery on your Garmin Forerunner 305 is to take the watch apart. Now it comes apart right here at this seam. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better hopefully. So here's the side of my Garmin watch and there is this very slight seam right here. Now I've already done this step before I started uh, making this video but what I used is this little pry tool and I wedged it inside this the seam right here and the way that your Garmin 305 is put together is actually by glue. So I went all the way around the seam with my little tool here and I was able to pry the two pieces apart. And this is the inside of your Garmin 305. There was a lot of glue on the inside when I took this out and I've already um, cleaned out the inside of the glue and so that we can uh, re-glue this back together again. Uh, the next step is this battery, the battery we will be replacing in this video, there is, um, it was also um, glued down as well. And I took my pry tool before I started this video and pried it uh, loose. And then now you can see uh, where uh, the battery that we need to replace. Now that we have our Garmin Forerunner 305 taken apart, I'm going to uh, remove the old battery. If you can see, I've got these two wires, the black and the red wire. I'm going to cut it as close to the battery as I possibly can, so to give myself the most amount of room to work with. And then by the same token, I've got my new battery. This battery came with three wires. It came with a white, black, and a red wire. I only need the black and the red wire, so those are the, that is the wire I'm going to clip. Now that I've uh, cut the wires, I'm attempting to figure out how I'm going to get this new battery in the Garmin watch and first of all there's a small peg that's in the way of me laying this battery down flat it's a little bit wider than the previous battery and then this uh, this clip is going to be hard to fit in to the casing and we really just don't need it for this project so I decided at this point to um, cut the white wire completely so I go ahead and clip off this little um, nub here and I'm going to get out some pliers and it just came right off. As I get started connecting the wires here I'm going to take my wire stripper and strip off at least half an inch of wire. I am going to strip off the wire now. I'm going to strip off at least half an inch of wire to give myself the most amount of room to work with. And what I see some people do is they strip off a part of it and they start turning it uh, just so that they can uh, get it off properly. I have my new battery here. I need to also strip this wire to connect it to my watch. Got this wire. Got the black one. Now the red one. Give it a little twist and pull off the wire. And here we go. We've got our exposed wires uh, ready for our next step. Now that I have my wire stripped, I'm going to connect the matching colors together. So first I'll do the black wires together. I'm going to just make it into an X and then uh, twist them together in line with each other. Uh, twisting the wires together this point and then next we'll solder it together. Alright, I'm getting ready to solder this uh, connected wire, black wire together. So I start by putting a little bit of solder on the tip of my soldering iron. I purchased the soldering iron um, on eBay for about four dollars. 
And now my next step is I want to get this wire um, a little bit hot and then melt the solder wire over over the top of it and then really just using the soldering wire as a glue to get this adhesed permanently. I have uh, soldered together the black wires together and now next step is I'm going to tape it together with a little bit of electrical tape. Nice and tight and then we'll move on and do the same thing with the red wire next. Now I have finished soldering both the black wire and the red wire. I've covered my solder with the electrical tape and now I'm going to place my new battery in to my Garmin watch. At this point I have my battery in place and I want to make sure it stays in place while I'm using it. So I'm going to just get out a little bit of double-sided tape and uh, put that on the back of the battery and then stick that down to the back of the watch. Now before I glue this watch back together again I just want to test it out to make sure that the connection is good and that everything fits in perfectly. So I'm just going to put this on the charger for a second and if you notice it says battery charging in progress which means that the watch is back together again and it is charging right now. So I'll let this charge up and then we'll glue the watch back together in the next step. Battery charge is now complete and we will remove the watch from the cradle. Put that aside and then we're ready to glue this watch back together again. What I'm going to try to do is just keep the glue on the inside rim and this uh, E6000 glue I'll be using also requires me to put glue on the inside on both surfaces. So to get started I will put my gloves on and I've got a little piece of uh, paper that I'll be using to put this E6000 glue on. It squirts out a lot bigger than what I can actually use on my watch so what I do is just uh, use a toothpick and just put a little bit of glue right on the inside of this watch. It also takes two minutes for it to get ready before you want to put the two pieces together. So we got plenty of time to work with to get our glue in place here. Now I'll go and do this other side now. And we'll let this uh, sit here for two minutes before we put the two pieces back together again. We are now ready to uh, put our watch back together again. We've let our E6000 glue sit for about two minutes and then we just simply put this watch back together. Again, making sure everything connects very, very tightly. Getting rid of all the excess glue. Hold this together. It takes about 24 hours for this E6000 glue to dry completely. I'm gonna take a zip tie here. That will hold this watch together while I'm waiting for my glue to dry. This is the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll let this uh, dry completely. 24 hours.